there everyone so here and we are going to make a cute little easter craft today it's a canvas with a chalk and a silhouette of the cross um all of the kids uh, kindergarten through fifth grade will be doing it and uh, you will start off with a canvas now uh, the children will be receiving a canvas that's like this one where it's soft on the back and it's uh, mounted on a frame the one i'm going to be using in this video today is actually on a canvas board so there'll be a couple things that i'll do different and so uh, hopefully i will be able to um, explain everything. All right, so also for the kindergarten and first graders, we've already put our bottom line for this week. Then the next thing you need is tape. So uh, I like to tear the tape because I like the rough edges of the cross, but if the children want to use scissors, they may do that. And you're going to just tear two pieces of tape, one shorter than the other, to make a cross. So you're going to put the tape onto the canvas in the shape of the cross. Pretty simple, right? Then you're going to make sure that that chalk is well secured to the canvas. Now with this, this canvas, when you poke down, it has a lot of give to it. So what you want to do is flip it over and rub it this way to really anchor that tape to the canvas. But while they're, co while they're coloring with the chalk, it will peel up. So they'll have to keep smoothing it down. All right, so the next step is getting it wet. Now you should have a spray bottle that they can just spritz it with maybe two or three sp sprays to get their canvas wet. I have a cloth here um, to get mine wet. And you just want the canvas wet because it helps the chalk stick to the canvas and get a nice bright color. All right, so then you're gonna have the children choose some chalk. Uh, we've got a variety of sidewalk chalk for them to choose from. They need probably three, maybe four colors. And again, the kids in there's each small group can share the different colors because they won't need that much. So just have them start and work in a pattern. They can do circles, they can do uh, diagonal, they can do zigzag, whatever shape that they want to do. In fact, I, you know, like this one, I did a diagonal. So I'm going to try and do circles this time. So I'm just going to start here and make a dot and I'm going to color this in. Okay, and the last color here. See the tape wants to peel off. If that's if the tape is wanting to peel off on them, what you can do is smooth it back down and then have them start on the tape and work away from the tape as they color. Okay, so we'll cover the chalk. Then what you're gonna do is just kind of smudge the chalk a little bit, and particularly work it around the edges of the can of the tape so that it's a nice solid line when you peel the tape off. That and I like to smudge it just a bit to, to fill in any of the missing or the empty spaces. All right, once it's done, again, tap off any loose chalk. Uh, they're probably going to want to wipe off their hands after they do that. And you can use wet wipes or whatever you have available in your space to wipe down the surface. Now that they're done coloring, the chalk is smudged, you're going to gently and carefully remove the tape. So as you pull it up, you'll see like the, the chalk gets granular. So you want to make sure that you pull it away from the cross so that it doesn't sprinkle into your dead space or the, or the white spaces of the, of the cross. All right. There you go. And you just discard the tape and cap off the chalk one last time. Now the chalk wants to come off the board. It just rubs off. And so also our uh, wording has gotten a little bit dull. So you should find nearby a can of just cheap air sp hairspray and you should give it a little shake and then give your canvas a spritz. All right. So once it's sprayed, have them set their canvas aside to dry and they and it should only take a, a few minutes and then the chalk should be set onto the canvas and now they'll have a lovely piece of artwork to hang up every easter uh, i hope all of you are having a great day and have a great easter